Mickey, what exactly happened? Why do you find yourself out of action at the moment? Well, it was, um, it was about five minutes from the end of the game and uh, the goalkeeper rolled the ball out to me and uh, I went to flick it with the outside of my foot to our right back and as I flicked it I went to walk on and my leg just seemed to give way. But after having a few x-rays they found that uh, it was just the, the ligaments at the back of the knee and, and where the muscle goes into the into the back of the knee it was just sort of uh, the fibres were torn. Why is it important to come in here to these hypothermic baths? Well, the, the main reason is so that when you get into the water you can get a lot more stretch you know, in your joints, on your leg. It's, uh, it's easier to, to do movement in water, a lot easier than if you was outside on, you know, on that slab there. The exercises are you know, sort of organised to get the maximum amount of effort into the joint, you know, the bending of it, the straightening of it, so that the injury can work its way back. Once out of the hypothermic bath, Mickey Droy spends about two hours each day on a sophisticated and highly expensive machine which pumps more heat into his injury. It's just part of over £3,000 worth of equipment which Chelsea have installed in their special rehabilitation centre. They also have wall bars, weights, cycle machines and sun ray equipment where players can tone up not only their condition but also their tan. A far cry from the sort of facilities enjoyed by physiotherapist Harry Medhurst when he started work at Chelsea 30 years ago. Oh, an awful lot, yes. In, in the old days it used to be um, sponge, cold water and hope. But, um, <laughs> now, now we've learned a thing or two, we go on courses, um, we know what happens when an, an injury occurs, we can diagnose it better than we used to be able to, we can um, inform the player what he's got, make him more happy with, with his injury, because a lot of players, they worry terribly when they get an injury, which is natural. And if we can tell them what they've got and near enough, how long it's going to take, and that we hope it's not serious, and they cooperate with us, and it's amazing what you know, results we get. You must have seen some incredible injuries here over the years. What, tell me about some of them. Oh, we, we, I think we've had most of them. Um, we have Ian Hutchinson, who's had two broken legs, broken toe, a broken nose, a broken arm, two cartilages out, uh, a broken finger this last couple of weeks. Uh, besides minor injuries, and, and he's only one. John Dempsey, you're probably one of the most injury-prone players on Chelsea's books. Could you tell me about some of the injuries you've had? Yes, well, it started about two years ago in a game at Leicester where I jumped up to hit a ball and I landed and went over my ankle, which caused you know me to have Achilles tendon trouble. Well, that lasted for about seven months, and then after that I had little things like groin strain and the kick in the back of the calf, and I thought I got over them sort of injuries, and then all of a sudden, you know, someone in a match trod on my little toe, which is causing it to, you know, to break. And they all thought it would be able to heal properly, but in the end it didn't heal properly, so they had to take a little bit of bone off the hip, you know, have an operation, and that cleared up. And I thought I was over that, and all of a sudden I started to get, you know, a pain in my ankle. So that lasted for about three months, and then they decided I needed an operation on that. So I had to have a bit of bone taken out of that ankle, got over that, and then at the moment I've got a bit of a knee trouble, you know, which will, I hope, clear up in another couple of weeks, but it's been six weeks since I did it. You know, I twisted when I was jumping up for a ball again, you know, and landing and just went over on the knee. And so over the last two years, you know, I haven't really played that number of games, really, only about 15, 16 games, all told, in two years, you know. We also spoke to Chelsea skipper John Hollins, who hobbled off before the end of last Saturday's match with a recurrence of a knee injury. How worried are footballers about being injured? Does it? I mean, do you lie in bed at night worrying about it? I think in John's case, I think you do worry about it because he's had more injuries perhaps than, say, I've been very fortunate that I haven't been as injured as he has. I've, I can go, well, I have gone about two or three years without an injury. Uh, I've got a little bit of a knee problem, but nowhere near what uh, John's had. But I think what happens that players have a knock, and as John says, they, they want to get back much quicker. They come back just that week too early they get another knock which builds up and builds up and you don't realize it until say 
two, three years' time when your your muscles or your your ankle is blown up, and then you, you can't do anything about it. It's there, and in time it could be arth you know arthritis could uh, come in. I, aren't you worried by the fact that what you're doing for a living could, in fact, make you a cripple as an old man? It does worry us really that you know maybe one day I might you know I hope it never happens, but I may be forced out of the game and you know. When you're forced out again through an injury, as John just said, like especially in ankles, you can get arthritis. You know, and I'm a bit worried about it, really, to be honest. How much pressure are you under to get a player back on the field? I mean, do you ever think, well, I'd better get him back for Saturday, but he's not really fit because I know the team need him? Um, you are under pressure, but um, you, you've got to be a little bit careful. But what I try to do is consider the player's life first before the team. Because to me, that's the important thing, and the team second. If the player is willing to have a go, then we'll talk it over and um, sometimes um, we'll take a calculated risk, but not very often. For me, the player is the most important person whilst he's injured. Well, what about Mickey now? Because uh, you presumably you want him getting back in the first team as soon as possible. How long is it going to take, do you think? Um, with cooperation, and I'm sure we'll get it with Mickey, um, maybe a, a fortnight, maybe less. But I would, I would say probably a fortnight.